Guys and gals, we've got some insight from T-Mobile executives on what they're doing with C-Band. They're calling it a one-and-done rollout. This is from Monica Allen, FierceWireless.com. Also, I think these disclosures were from the most recent Q4 2021 earnings call and uh, kind of wrap-up of the year. Now, for those of you that are unaware, the last two major mid-band spectrum auctions, T-Mobile did successfully bid on some licenses. They got 40 megahertz of the 3.7 gigahertz C-band last year, and that's in select markets. Usually the way we're seeing it is, you know, it's in situations where they have a high market share and or they have trouble with the 2.5 gigahertz and 41 licensing. All right, so they're obviously deepening their spectrum holdings with that, and then they also successfully acquired some 3.45 gigahertz, which is mostly national, but they only got like 20 megahertz of it. So the question is, when are they when are they going to start building to this? All right, so they spent billions on the spectrum. In fact, those two spectrum auctions, T-Mobile is actually spending the most per megahertz pop. So they're going to want to deploy it and put it to good use. And at that point, they'll be on a 5G standalone 5G network core, so they can probably start aggregating bands. All right, but the question becomes is how are they going to do it? How are they going to build it? They got the N41 going on. Uh, I don't know if they're technically done with the you know, the 600 megahertz low band 5G, uh, but they are disclosing that they will be building the 3.45 and the 3.7 gigahertz C band stuff at the, uh, the onset of next year, 2023. It looks like the limitation here is that it is new radio infrastructure. And by, by new, they mean totally new. Uh, Chief of uh, President of the Technology, uh, Neville Ray, spoke to this. He said supply chain will be obviously a factor. Uh, he didn't speak too much to it. But the fact that the radio infrastructure is new and is new to them, it's a brand new frequency. Free, you know, Previously, it was DOD spectrum. Now it's going to carriers. So they'll have, they'll have to put up new radio gear, new antenna gear, and uh, they should be good to go. But he's calling it one and done, and that's good for them because what they could do is they can go up and upgrade these tower sites and they can do both the 3.7 gigahertz with a single radio along with the 3.45 gigahertz. So they're looking to do essentially the same thing that AT&T is looking to do kind of by delaying their rollout, being able to go up one time, upgrading the sites for the entire three gigahertz frequencies. So that should help them streamline their spending. That should help them with efficiency and, you know, whatever sites haven't received the N41, uh, deployments, they can upgrade that at the same time. And that gives them one heck of a capacity upgrade. Uh, and then they could have probably also do all the other stuff, the LTE, you know, the low band 5G with 600 megahertz and so on. So be on the lookout 2023 when you should be able to notice C-band for T-Mobile. I would assume it's probably going to be starting in urban and suburban areas, probably more urban because they'll need the spectrum boosting. And then at that point, I think you're going to see T-Mobile even further increasing their capacity on their fiber backhaul. So if they haven't done it yet, as of 2022 for you guys out there in your markets, look for it to happen now because they will literally be adding 60 more megahertz of mid-band. And they already have, you know, 100 plus, 120, 40, 160 megahertz of N41. So they're essentially looking at up to 200 megahertz of spectrum dedicated 5G mid-band. They'll need good backhaul for it. So that's on deck most Definitely. Uh, your thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Uh, my email address and my Twitter handle in the description box, also in the description. My Patreon page, support us there. Get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. And discounts on most mobile promotions just for supporting us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.